actually meet for me, but here we go. Oh. What's in there? Pretty quick and easy. Just get a freaking ring. Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I want to dedicate this channel mainly for wearable technologies. I know I have actually made a lot of videos on Anki Vector and some speaker and etc. But my passion is and I actually like to focus on the wearables ones. So if, for example, as I say recently, I do want to get that Bose frames, but it's only available in America. But there is quite an interesting development. I don't know whether you guys are aware on the smart ring technology. So I'm just going to share the updates news with you. And um, also just want to let you know what Microsoft has recently published regards to their patent technology and etc. So here it goes. Right, so this was um, published on the 31st, so end of August this year. And as regards to Samsung is actually developing a smart ring as well. It's a very interesting technology where the reason I got really interested with smart ring mainly was the fact that I don't really need to take out my wallet to show my card in front of the public. All I need to do is just take it out and then swipe it so I could use it for travel and also for payment up to 30 pounds and etc. But now um, the good thing about smart ring is that you have to dense you have to put a lot of components in a very dense uh, very small uh, shallow uh, space and um, one other thing is you cannot make a lot of excuse unless you put diamonds and so on it's not going to be too expensive but the potential is enormous not only does it will it have actually the contactless payment function as well but you can see from Samsung uh, what they have done is uh, they're envisaging that some sort of like a gesture let's say for example up down or wave and etc you can control your television as you can see from here or the volume control security control and lighting control and etc i know we already have a vector technology where you can voice command your television or your audio security and lighting control since the recent alexa integration responding Sorry, but um, sure sometimes you could lie down on your sofa and you could do just a bit of a you know sometimes you feel like well why don't I just do a finger gesture and then control the the whole smart home system which I think was a brilliant brilliant idea so this was already patent uh, suggested by Samsung back on the 31st of August this year and um, I think it it's, looks very interesting actually. And you, if you look at the, um, the image here, there's some sort of like a button, I guess that's where you trigger the command and then you could do wonders of your gesture, of your hand gesture and etc. So I think this is a very interesting technology that we should all expect. Um, but not only that, um, I cannot see smart ring being more expensive than $300. Uh, US dollars, which I think is, is a beaut because a lot of products, wherever products, comes in a very unreasonable price, while a smart ring should be fine. That's my um, approach on this whole technology. Right, the next uh, article that I want to share with you is the Microsoft actually submitted a patent recently. This is actually uh, now published on um, online uh, 18th of December. I think that's the latest what we can see. Uh, very recent about the smart ring patent that they have submitted and quite interestingly you can see uh, that they're trying to use the movement of the index finger and the thumb okay and then somehow you can see from here number 300 on this diagram they're trying to show a notification on the uh, smart ring I, I'm pretty sure that is for Android so it's an interesting, exciting news for Android uh, smartwatch users. And uh, I think number 120 here is the button that Samsung has shown on their patent diagram. But basic 
uh, instructions. Uh, the description about this movement is that if you uh, flick your thumb left or right, is somehow you're going to move the screen or maybe change the channel, I guess, or whatever it is. <coughs> and if you use your index finger up and down, that's where you can scroll your screen and etc. So there's a lot of interesting technology coming up um, and I don't know what this number uh, is actually pointing it out but these are the diagrams of the patent that Microsoft have, has recently submitted. Now um, if you like to search any of these interesting new upcoming technology type in the actual product and then on Google type in patent and you'll see a lot of useful information of what the latest technology, uh, what could happen, what they are up to, and etc. We know that the foldable phone, I managed to find all these details on Google by typing whatever it was, Samsung or Galaxy X, we say all this rumored, or Apple as well, and Microsoft. Um, if you type in smartphone, foldable, patent, these are the things you get. But when it comes to smart ring, we actually have a lot of interesting uh, technology and input coming up so I do have one or two interesting smart ring that I want to buy one is that actually could detect your um, I think it's motive ring I believe or maybe not but it actually can read your finger uh, print and then if you're the right person you can use it and then you can make a uh, contactless payment but the latest one is actually cheaper than that but actually has an NFC chip I believe uh, so you could you don't need to charge it and it is quite slim and it's about 120 or 120 British pounds or US dollars so these are the latest technology I get but I just don't want to end up having two rings because two has have a different function maybe it's a good time waiting for it maybe I might just buy one for the sake of fun for me entertaining you guys but when it comes to smart ring technology people it is becoming one of the most interesting technology we have already experienced a boom of the um, of the smart watch that I thought at the time when it was published I, I thought it's not gonna make a big hit but it has thanks to Apple I guess but um, I would love to see how this smart ring technology happens how it actually intrudes to this market uh, the tech market and I just want to give you guys a heads up so it's an interesting um, concept and ideas Samsung's thinking about it Microsoft's thinking about it I don't know what Apple is up to I haven't seen anything with regards to Apple maybe we might see some patents from Apple later on but have fun looking at all these things it's an exciting future we have here where you will end up um, well, lying down on your sofa, all you need to do is just say it or just flick your finger and you can control your home. It's, it's, it's going to be a fantastic time. But when it comes to inserting those horrible chip inside your hand, I mean, there's way more other technologies that could compensate that by using, for example, using a smart ring. So I just think that's such a, such a silly idea and I just want to show you that intro which I just think is just so stupid anyway thank you very much for watching this video I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas break and this is LJP speak to you soon bye bye